Today's video, we're going to make extruder indicators. So what you do is you put them on your extruder right here. And they help you <clears throat> know how fast your extruder going, is going. And then when you move it, you can see it's spinning. But it also makes some filament pop out. You can see everything's working right because this was moving. Let's get started. Okay, so put a logo on it. So the best, the first thing you do is you go and you make your own logo and you go to Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator and you can make your logo there. All I do is export it as a DXF file. So then you go to Fusion 360 and then you load your DXF file. You can extrude some parts up and some parts down to make your shape. You right click on that. Then you say save as STL. Then you press OK. Then you can save it. So I'm going to go into Kira now. To open the file, I'm going to open this file. And it's in solid view. So I slice it and change into layer view. So I press prepare. Sliced, I press layer view. So I can go up and down. These are all of the layers. So to get Two colors, I'm going to change the filament at a certain layer. So I'm going to go down where it starts. And then I go up and it's 11. Go to extensions, modify G code, add a script. I change filament layer and then I, I have to choose this one. M600, and I'm going to choose that layer, 11. So it's added, and I press prepare. Here's a little trick. You see how the M is broken? Well, this is what it looks like with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, but I have a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. So I'm going to go to preferences. Configure Kira, printers, sheen scents, and then I'm going to change it to 0.2 millimeters. Then I press close, close, and then I press prepare. So you see how it changed? Yeah, it's perfect now. And before, just the M was broken, but now it's fixed. I'm going to save it into the memory card. I'm putting the memory card in. Like, remember, you have to put it upside down. And there's a 0.2 nozzle on there, so try to get that if you can. And in the middle, this is, we have to change filaments. I have the white. And then I'm going to load the blue. I'm going to start it now. So it says press the knob to unload the filament. I just wait. See it spinning, that means trying to get it out. Pull it out. And I say yes. So I take this off. And I take the blue filament. Put it on. Tape off. This is insert, fill and press the knob, so...
So, well, it's blue now, which is the right color, so I'm going to take all of this off and put it in the trash can. Can I press change correctly or I press yes? So it's going to start the new layer now, the new layers. It's done, so now I'm going to put the nozzle up so I can take the bed off and then, yeah, take this off. Take it a bit off. There's a divot right here, so I have to put a little, one drop of glue into the divot. Touch. Then I put the magnet in. Then I spray the activator. I'm giving a lot of these out to the people with Prusa printers. And so come and see me at the Midwest Rip Wrap Festival. So anyone that has a Prusa printer, come see me and you get one of these for free. If you want to know more about changing the color of the filament at a certain layer, you can look at my video where it shows you how to use the plugin. Eventually, I'm going to put these on Thingverse so you can 3D print your own. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. Bye!